sense uh, to me. These are, but maybe that's just because I've used these longer, maybe with the desktop than the online. But you know, an income tracker, uh, the uh, expense tracker tool, and then the reports are still here. And then instead of sales, you have the customers. Instead of expenses, you have the vendors. And that makes more sense to me because I think of this area as the customer center and vendor center because that's where I go to answer questions and manage things for a particular customer and vendor. And this is the employees instead of payroll. Calling it sales, expenses, and payroll sounds less personal to me. If I'm going into here to answer a customer question, to me, it seems like I'm going into the customer center to help me deal with my customers <laughs> instead of going into the sales center, which sounds like I'm not dealing with a human being or so, I mean, it just sounds, but in any case, uh, it's different though, but it's all this, it's all just like all of the tabs, uh, whenever they change something, they can change the name to whatever they want, but it's still the double entry accounting system. So everything basically works the same way. So you can toggle that on or off if you want. I'm going to toggle it back off. And so it looks more like the normal QuickBooks uh, online, QuickBooks online, that is. And then you also have your drop down over here. So if I was to open multiple tabs, for example, there's possibly you can open up multiple company files. So if you have a, if you have multiple company files, you might go into the list up top and be able to open, you know, multiple, multiple of these company files. And that would be uh, nice because when you're in the online system, sometimes it can be actually a little bit more difficult to go from one file to the other. Sometimes you might have to like log out of one file so that you can then go into the next file. I, I don't think it's quite as easy as just having a nice drop down and toggling back and forth between each of the company files. You also have this tab up top, which is an open windows tab. So if you're used to the desktop view, it used to show the open windows on a side panel over here. And I think that's still kind of nice, right? So I can toggle between these two tabs up top this way. So, so I, I, sometimes that's easier to see possibly than over here. And if you get the, 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 the names of the tabs are still not always useful because it just says get great guitars. If I, if I went into my reports and I opened up a profit and loss in a new tab, it would be nice if this showed over here as basically a profit and loss report, the thing that is open, but you know, it's nice that it at least has it in another tab and you can toggle between these two tabs and see an image up top of which report you want to be going to as you hover over it, which is a little bit better than, than the tabs up top here because you just have to memorize. That's why I always put the balance sheet and then the income statement because if I had like a bunch of tabs up top open, then I have to actually go do it, do it, do it and go into each one of them to see which one is doing what. Whereas hovering over them over here might be a little bit faster uh, to be toggling between them. So like I say, I haven't used this a lot. Uh, it seems relatively new to me. I haven't seen a lot of people talk. I haven't seen anybody uh, talk about this, uh, but I like it. I, I like, I like, I think it looks nice. I think it's easier to open. You might be able to log in a little bit longer. You can switch to the desktop view, which if nothing else can bring you to that uh, that homepage that has a, a, a flow chart within it. So, which is a, a useful tool. You still need to be connected online in order to use uh, the desktop app. If I hold control down, by the way, and scroll in, it still does the zoom in just like it was a web page. but you can also do it this way and zoom in this way or use the plus and minus things to zoom in. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm liking it, uh, but uh, give it a shot. We'll, we'll be going through the course with the online uh, on an actual online uh, rather than the desktop app because that's the way most people will connect to it, I believe uh, still. But if you're working at a desktop all the time, you might want to check this one out.